everyone so this is the December glossy box video I've just received my glossy box this morning um, so I thought I'd just get this video up and um, I'm sure you've all seen review videos on this box and everything by now because it seems like everybody got their box way before me but like I say mine has just come so this month's box is a gorgeous red box it's got the glossy box um, like it's a Christmas tree design but the Christmas tree design on it is actually like perfume bottles and lipsticks and all types of beauty products which I think is quite nice and the top of the tree is the glossy box um, logo it is a really nice box and um, the only thing I don't like with glossy box special edition boxes is how they just slap glossy box all over because they're original pink boxes if I'm not mistaken they've only got this little logo in the middle um, and around the box is not glossy box wrote anywhere so if you were to reuse these boxes I think it's just such a shame that it has got glossy blocks plastered everywhere it's got it on both of the sides there as you can see and it's got it on here so I'm kind of a little bit annoyed about that because I do like to reuse glossy boxes to give gifts and things in that's what I tend to do with my pink boxes because I just think they're really nice good quality um, hardware and boxes but like I say when they all come with the logo slathered all over you can't really well I suppose some people could but I personally wouldn't give it as as a gift if it came in a box with logos all over so anyway I'm just gonna try and fight my way into this box um, it does actually come with the glossy magazine as well which is always a nice little read I think um, so inside of the box this is obviously the theme for this month is festive treasures so that's the kind of glossy box theme this month inside it comes with just a plain white ribbon and the tissue paper is bright red with white candy canes on so I think that's really nice Christmassy type um, I do like this box I do like the box but I feel it could have went a little bit more Christmassy I don't know I mean it's nice I do like it I'm not gonna complain about it I just wish it would be a little bit more kind of traditional Christmas style I don't know I'm just just having a whinge anyway let's just dive into the box Um, so let's see I'll just start with this great big thing at the back which I'm sure everybody got in their box this month and I think I've pretty much got the same feelings as everybody else like I'm not excited at all to see a razor in a Christmas box Um. I don't know that's just me that's just my personal preference but I'm just shocked to see it in a glossy box but anyway this is the Wilkinson Sword Intuition Naturals Sensitive Care Razor and I'm just reading from the little card here this retails at £6.49 so it is a full size and it says Wilkinson Sword Intuition Naturals is a 3-in-1 razor that lathers, moisturises and shaves your party essential for ready to bear legs this Christmas. I suppose it's okay. I suppose I will use it. Um, it doesn't come with any spare blades or anything. You literally get the, the razor itself and it comes with a blade already on the razor. There's no other spares in there or anything. Um, so I'm not really sure how much the spare blades are to buy. But going by the prices of most razor blades in the UK, they are probably expensive. So, I mean, I will use this one, but definitely not excited about it. So... Not too excited about that one. Next product is a full size Maybelline product and this is one of the products that I didn't want to receive in my box because I've got a huge collection of colour tattoos anyway and this is actually one of the colours I've already got. Um, this is 05 Eternal Gold. It's not focusing there but it's 05 Eternal Gold and it's still sealed. It's a fantastic product. I absolutely love Maybelline colour tattoos but it's just I've already got one. Again that is full size and that is... Um, valued at £4.99 so already just with your razor and your colour tattoo here you've got more than what your box is worth so you definitely get value for money in this box it's just kind of personal preference whether you like the products that are in the box so anyway so if anybody got a different Maybelline product or a different colour Maybelline colour tattoo or anything if they want to swap please comment below because I've already got this one and I would really like to get rid of it the thing I was most hoping for was the Maybelline Brow Drama or a Maybelline Mascara because I always like to try out new mascaras. But if anyone's got any different different things and they don't want them or already have them, just let us know because I'd be happy to swap for that. 
Moving on, next product is a Sesh Nail Lacquer. Now, I do have a few of these nail lacquers already and I do like them, but what the hell is up with this colour? This is a Christmas box and they've given me a pastel lilac shade. Now, I'm sorry, but that is just not festive at all. Um, it is a really nice shade and I will wear it in the summertime, but come on, glossy box, you need to pull your finger out your backside here. Um, but this is in the colour Not Easily Swept Away. This camera is just not focusing at all that's it not easily swept away and like i say it is just a really pale pastel lilac color which is not a shade for the festive season at all but anyway that is full size and these retail for £9.95 so again you are way over the price of your box um i do have to say personally i would never pay £9.95 for one of these polishes i just think it's a little bit expensive so I wouldn't pay that full price and um, like just go out and buy it for myself I wouldn't do that but anyway I, I will keep a hold of the nail polish and I know that I will use it it's just not a very festive colour which is kind of what this box was aimed at like Christmas essentials and things or what was it called festive treasures there's nothing festive about that colour sorry Um, next up I've got a little sample size it's it's an okay size sample let me just pop it out of this thing to show you sorry i am doing this one-handed today i do still need to get my hands on another camera tripod right so this is the sample and it is sanctuary spa covent garden and this is active reverse body resurface and refine ultra polish and this is a 15 mil sample so it is a sample it's not a tiny size sample if i place it in my hand there it's okay but it is only 15 mil so it's still not much in a sample on the back of the packet it does come with a three pound off voucher for boots if you did like this product and you wanted to purchase the full size there is a three pound off voucher on the back um, but let me just read on the card what this is supposed to be. So it says, get radiant looking skin in an instant with Sanctuary Spa's Ultimate Body Polisher. Massage on a damp skin, focusing on any specific areas of concern. Then rinse off to reveal ultra smooth skin. A really brisk massage helps boost the circulation. Use two to three two to three times a week not on consecutive days you see this is a big body thing and they're telling you to use it two to three times a week now how can you use this two to th two to three times a week with a measly 15 mil size sample this is why i hate things like this when they come in glossy boxes because they just don't give you enough to actually gauge a real opinion on a product because there's just not enough in um like this is basically saying on this card you have to use it two to three times a week to feel any benefit and you're just not even going to get anything from that whatever. But the full size of this is 200 mils, which retails for £12. Now this is only a 15 mil sample so this is this sample is probably worth less than, let's just work it out. So 200 for 12 will be 100 for 6, 50 for 3, 25 for 150. It's basically less than a pound. It's about 80 pence or something. So this looking at it that way it is pretty much a measly sample there so whatever i'm not too excited about that and um, i'm not really a fan of sanctuary spa products if i'm honest but maybe it'll go in somebody's stocking for christmas just a nice little try out thing um next product in the box is this beautiful movement lip gloss and i do wear lip glosses and it is in a nice peachy nudie color so i probably will wear this as well um it's okay, the packaging's pretty basic. I was I was trying to figure out what this little logo on the front was for ages, but it's actually a woman, a gymnast, a ballerina, whatever, and this is her leg down here and her leg up there, and you can see her body is stretched back over. This is a brand from Kimberly Wyatt from the Pussycat Dolls. Um, this is actually her beauty brand, so... I think in a couple of boxes back, I did get a... Uh, Mixing medium from them. I've still never tried it. I know really bad, but I will get around to it. So this is the Beautiful Movements Cosmetics Nude Lip Gloss and full size retails for £12 and full size is 8ml. This sample is 4ml. So this is worth £6. So it's a £6 sample. Um, and I will use that. Like I say, I do use lip gloss and it's in a colour that I will definitely use. So I will use that. Um, and I did get a little something else in the box here. I'm not really sure what this is. 
I think it's maybe it's just a little voucher thing. It says Sanctuary Spa, Common Garden, Unwrap Indulgence. And on the back it just says 20% off Sanctuary Spa gift cards. So I think it must be if you're going to buy your gift card, you get discount. Obviously, I'm not going to buy it. So if anybody wants this, let us know and it shall be yours. So I forgot to tell you, inside the box as well, the little packaging is green inside. So red and green, really, really festive colours. Um, so yes, that is what I received in my glossy box. Out of everything in the glossy box, um, definitely going to use these two. I know that I will use them too. Um, like I say, definitely not a winter colour, but I will use it in the summer. I will definitely use the lip gloss because it's in a colour that I would wear. Um, I would have been really excited about this colour tattoo had it been in a colour that I didn't already own. But I do own it. But nonetheless, I absolutely love these products. So if anyone wants to swap it, let me know on that one. And obviously the razor, which I don't know, I just find quite strange for some reason. I'm not sure. But I will use it. I probably won't repurchase blades or anything for it again. So it's probably just going to be a one-time use for me. Um, but nonetheless, I will still get use out of it. Um, it's an okay box, definitely, definitely not what I would have expected for a Christmas box from Glossy Box. I just think it's a very, very poor Christmas box. Um, and I'm kind of thinking a Glossy Box needs to rebrand themselves or something because I'm sure they're still advertising as luxurious samples sent each month. None of these products in this box are luxurious in any way, shape or form. These can all be found at the drugstore and they're all pretty cheap. So it's kind of a bummer on that part. Like I don't think they should be advertising, sending out luxurious um, high-end samples to customers when basically that is not what you're getting. So who knows, maybe they'll change it in the new year and just say samples that can be found at the drugstore. Who knows? Um... But yeah, that's this month's box. I hope you all got your box and I hope you really liked it. Um, like I always say in my Glossy Box videos, there is some products I will use and there's some products that I won't use. But I do still like the surprise of getting a surprise box each month. And I find it really easy to just swap away things that I don't use. So it's not a big deal because I can always find somebody to swap some things with who got something in their box that they don't like and something that I didn't like and we just trade them out and get something that we do like so it's kind of fun on that way but it probably would be a hell of a lot easier if they listened to people's profiles and actually read people's profiles and found out what they did like and what they didn't like and actually followed them because I know there's still a huge problem with this glossy box profile thing because people like I know people with like the fairest of fair skin and they get makeup sent for like dark, dark skin. So obviously Glossy Box is not doing the job properly there, but what can you do? Maybe it'll change in the new year, maybe it won't. It is up to you whether you stay subscribed or not. And up till now, I still am. Like I say, I like the surprise each month. Um, But yeah, that's all I've got to say about this month's box. And if you have any questions or comments, if you just... Leave them below and I shall get back to you as soon as I can. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.